Breaking news, TMZ just posted this article today, February 1st of 2019, titled, Takashi 69 pleads guilty to nine counts, snitches, drugs, guns, and robberies. Here's what they wrote. Takashi 69 appears to be striking a deal with the feds. He's pleading guilty to nine counts, TMZ has learned. Takashi entered the plea on January 23rd, pleading guilty to the federal indictment. He copped to multiple counts of racketeering, conspiracy, firearm offenses, and narcotics trafficking. The rapper was initially indicted back in November and had been facing the possibility of life in prison. It's unclear what sentence he'll face now after entering the guilty pleas. According to the federal docs just unsealed this week and obtained by TMZ, 6 9 was involved in dealing heroin, fentanyl, ecstasy, amphetamines, and marijuana. The feds say the conspiracy consisted of multiple acts of murder, robbery, and extortion. In docs, the feds referred to the video TMZ first posted of Takashi boldly offering on camera a $30,000 bounty for someone to shoot Chief Keefe's cousin. According to the feds, he quote, aided and abetted the shooting at rivals of Nine Trey Blood Gang at a hotel in Times Square. As you know, someone opened fire on Keefe and his cousin back in June in Times Square just days after Takashi's offer. The unsealing of Takashi's plea came just one day after three of his associates were also indicted. We broke the story. Law enforcement sources tell us Takashi dropped a dime on the alleged trigger man in the Keefe shooting. 6 9 sentencing is scheduled for January 24th of 2020. So that's just under a year from now. This was originally published at 9.16 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to read to you guys the update. They updated the story at 10.20 a.m. Pacific Time. So less than two hours ago, they said, we now have the transcription from Takashi's plea hearing from last week. And he opens up about how he got involved in the criminal activity and does a lot of snitching. In court, he says he joined the Nine Trey Blood Gang in the fall of 2017. And in March 20th of 2018, he admits helping members of the gang attempt to kill a rival to, quote, increase my own standing in Nine Trey. Then on April 3rd, he says he and other members robbed a rival at gunpoint. He got into the Chief Keefe shooting, saying in court, quote, I paid a person to shoot at a rival member of Nine Trey to scare him. The shooting took place in Manhattan. I did this to maintain or increase my own standing in Nine Trey. He admits knowing a fellow gang member was the trigger man. Takashi also admitted to selling a kilo of heroin in 2017 and offered an apology for all his crimes, saying, quote, I apologize to the court, to anyone who was hurt, to my family, friends, and fans for what I have done and who I have let down, end quote. Based on what we know, Takashi has struck a plea deal which will increase the likelihood of a significantly reduced sentence in return for ongoing cooperation. Although the minimum sentence is 47 years, the way it typically works is the prosecution will ask for significantly less, which is his incentive to keep singing like a canary. The problem Takashi faces by agreeing to cooperating for the next year while the prosecution dangles the carrot of a light sentence, he's increasing the possibility someone will try to silence him. By the way, he did indeed plead guilty to all nine counts. There was a discrepancy in the documents. All right, y'all. So that's the end of the article. Let me know what you think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Me Magazine site dot blogspot dot com. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Click the notification button. Let me know what you think about Danny Hernandez. I mean, Takashi 69 All right, y'all. Me Magazine. Did he snitch or nah? They're saying he snitched, y'all. I mean, I don't really care personally. I mean, I don't think anything less of him. I mean, he's a gang member. He's a piece of trash. So, all right, y'all. I got to go.